In this video, I'll be helping you with the Alex problem type called Word Problem Involving Optimizing Area by Using a Quadratic Function. We're told that Scott wants to build a fence for his rectangular garden and that he has 240 meters of fencing. Suppose that the side length in meters of the garden is x as shown below. We're asked a few questions here, the first being to find a function that gives the area as a function of x of the garden in square meters in terms of x. So first, just to recognize that we don't know the width here, I'm going to call that y. And then since I know the maximum parameter, since he only has 240 meters of fencing, I can say that 2 times x plus 2 times y, that would be the parameter, would equal 240. So that's helpful because that's what we're working with here but we're asked to find the function for the area of this rectangle. And here the area is just x times y, but we're supposed to write the area as a function of x. We need to write it without that y. And that's where the first equation comes in handy because since it has only an x and y, I can solve this for y and then substitute in that value for the y in the area function. So first solving for x, I could subtract the 2x over and have 2y on the left hand side equals a negative 2x plus 240 and then divide by 2 on both sides. That would give me a y equals. Notice on the right hand side each term is being divided by 2. So when I simplify I want to make sure that I'm dividing each term by 2 and since that does allow me to simplify the first term, negative 2x over 2 would be a negative x, plus 240 over 2 would be 120. We now have solved for y using the perimeter formula, and we can do that substitution into our a area function and say that the area now as a function of x would be x times y, but we've just said that y is negative x plus 120. So distributing the x on the outside, x times a negative x is negative x squared, and x times 120 is 120x. We have found the function for the area as negative x squared plus 120x. Moving to part b, we're asked what side length x gives the maximum area for the garden. So we know that this is a quadratic, and its leading coefficient is negative. So the quadratic would have an upside down shape where its maximum value is here at its vertex. And we know that the x value of the vertex happens at negative b over 2a. And here our b value, the coefficient in front of the x, is 120. So when we substitute, we would have negative 120 over 2 times our a here is negative 1. So 2 times negative 1 gives us negative 120 over negative 2, or a positive 60. So since this is the vertex, this is where we would have the maximum area. It would be where our, that x length is 60 meters. And then the last question is, what is that maximum area? we would substitute back into our area function, the location where we know that the maximum happens. So a of 60 equals, now replacing the x's with 60's, negative 60 squared. Notice it's only the x being squared, not the negative, plus 120 times x, which is 60. And now we can simplify. 60 squared is 3,600 plus 7,200 would be 120 times 60. And then when we combine these two, negative 3,600 plus 720 would be a positive 3,600. So the maximum area is 3,600 square meters, which is the value we got in the area function when we plugged in our 60 meters.